Hello ladies, it's Serafina Delirium. Today is Fantastic Friday and I'm so glad you're here. So while you're here, don't forget to like this video down below, comment your sweetest comments, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one because I'm trying to pump them out as often as I can, but I haven't been doing it for the past two weeks because I have been busy as a hornet. Does that make sense? Busy as a bee, basically, but I was trying to think of something more fun than a bee. Busy as a bee, because that's so cliche, right? So busy as a hornet? That doesn't make any sense. Forget it. I've been busy as heck. Life happens, so I've just been doing life stuff and adult stuff, and not all of it's fun, but a lot of it has been downsizing. Um, and so during my downsizing process, I have decided to kind of phase out SD Beauty because is a little bit more trouble than it's worth to try to sell stuff, list stuff. I've tried selling stuff for years and years and years, and it's just hard. It's hard to market, it's hard to have business cards, it's hard to ship it, and it's hard to do seller fees, and all these listing fees, and all this crap on the internet, eBay, PayPal, Etsy, whatever. You can think of a million different things, I'm sure, if you've been there. So I decided to kind of phase it out. But it coincides, it goes hand in hand with, I promise, the video I'm making today. And let's see here. For starters, oh no, that's bag, that's two. I need to go from box one. There's box one. So I'm grabbing box one and I'm gonna hold it for a second. Here's box one. Got a mess over here. Part of the mess. I'm downsizing and it's it's always a mess before it gets prettier. But today is going to be my collection. Here's the title that I have written down. It's called My Ipsy. Birch box and more makeup bags collection and about each. And I have the month and the year. I'm going to try to like, I have each of them labeled with a sticky note. I've worked really hard. I've got like detailed information as much as I could find about each bag, like month and year, um, as far as themes. Because Ipsy usually has a month and a year and a theme. So I'll do what I can. And of course, my name is Serafina Delirium. It's not my real name, but my real name is Serafina. You can call me Sarah. You can call me Serafina. You can call me Fina, whatever. And it is, well, it's almost October. Today's Friday, so what is today? Oh my gosh. Today is Friday. It's October the 1st. Yes, October. Happy October, guys. Tomorrow is my daughter's Oh my gosh, it's her 11th birthday. I've been alienated from her for like 12 years and it's like, how old is she? Happy 12th birth, happy 11th birthday. Holy crap, Amy, I can't believe you're 11 already. This is nuts. So let's make this video. This is my first box of Ipsy bags and Birchbox bags. Well, they're basically all Ipsy bags. So let's get into this. So my very, whoo, did you see that? It was like, to the neck. All right, so my very first Ipsy bag was the March 2017 Ipsy bag. And it was like this, and you would fold it over. Well, the make, there's makeup in here because I keep makeup brushes in it that I don't need. Um, but you could fold it over like this. And this was the March 2017 Ipsy bag. And it was super cute. I used to keep binkies and stuff in it for Seamus who is now six. It's amazing how fast they grow, but I still have that bag. I still think of it as his binky bag, binky holders, um, aura gel, all that stuff. And now I've taken all of my SD Beauty bags apart. I'm not really selling them. I will use some of this stuff as giveaway items, but for the most part, I'm just gonna keep it for when I need it or to give it as Christmas presents. But these are my makeup brushes. If you are interested in buying any of these makeup brushes, let me know because I have them here. I do not need them, um, but they are in my March 2017 Ipsy bag. So moving forward, we have, oh, I went backwards. The first bag that I really have is the February 2016 Ipsy bag. Oh, I started on the wrong end of the box, girlfriend. So, okay, we're gonna start over here. The February 2016, I call it my Valentine's bag. It's the February 2016 bag. And isn't this cute? I love it. It's like a pixel, like a Minecraft. Seamus and Alex, my two oldest sons, are into Minecraft. And so is their sister, my stepdaughter Claire. She got them into Minecraft, I believe. 
and they love it. So this reminds me of a Minecraft love letter, and I keep, like, all my lip glosses in it. I have, like, probably 15 or 20 in lip glosses, like, Wet n Wild and Hard Candy. So basically what I'm doing with my Ipsy bags, as you can see, so far from the makeup brushes and the lip glosses, is, like I said, I cleared out all of my SCB bags, and I started putting stuff organizing it into my ipsy bags because I don't really have another organization system yet like plastic bins which is what I would prefer like crayon boxes or like a makeup system you know what I'm talking about all you makeup lovers out there you usually have a big desk full of makeup yeah I don't have that <laughs> no I don't need that I'm not that obsessed with makeup but I would like to keep them because then I can go shopping from them later because I am a minimalist. I want to keep things minimalistic and use up what's open one thing at a time, not have 600 lipsticks open, one lipstick or, or six in my case. I have, I have six lipsticks on my desk and two lip glosses, one eyeliner, one mascara, one foundation, one powder, and a few nail polishes because I painted my nails. For Halloween um, but yeah that's what I'm doing so far so next we have so there's the February 2016 bag and next we have the August 2016 bags which I bought on eBay I didn't get these from Ipsy these were empty and they still are they don't have any makeup in them right now but this is the August 2016 limited edition bag and I call it the blue mermaid I don't really know what her real name is but if anybody knows just tell me What's her actual name? And this is my August 2016 limited edition purple mermaid. I know they're probably not mermaids, but um, by the way, the blue one's my favorite, but they match. I had to get them both. All right, so coming up next, we have one of my favorites. I love Halloween. I love Halloween bags, but I love the cutesy aspect of it. I don't like anything gory. So I have the October 2016 Valfrey and Ipsy Halloween bag. And also, I still have the card. I used to throw away the cards. I, I finally started keeping them, but this is the Black Magic bag. And it does have the tag on the side that says Valfrey and Ipsy on it, if you can see that. But I love it. It's very cute. It's got a little Ouija board on it. I'm never actually allowed a real Ouija board in my house. And I won't. Like, I won't do satanic symbols or anything like that. Um, especially not around my children, and I don't, I do not condone it, I don't approve of it. Just a fun fact. Um, I like the aesthetic, but it's too far to bring it in the house. So what's in the bag is basically skincare products. So all of these are available if you would like to buy them, because this is my shop from pile. Um, but I don't need any of these. Maybe the Aceology. Um, but these are all things that I have available that I don't need but they're in here it's just a skincare bag there's one other thing in here at the bottom but I'm not gonna fish it out all right um next I have the November 2016 galaxy makeup bag I don't know what it's really called but I call it my galaxy makeup bag and it's one of my absolute favorites and this one has bobby pins in it we call them bobby pins Solids in there. Just a bunch of bobby pins. And this was the first bag that I started thinking, oh, this would be great to keep stuff in. Gee, Sarah, make a bag. Put stuff in it, right? <laughs> because they usually set empty. I just hoarded them. I just hoard Ipsy bags, guys. Do you guys hoard Ipsy bags? You just keep them in piles? And then you're like, what do I do with all these bags? Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> Racing hand. I'm guilty as charged, guys. I, I do not even, I don't even need to hire a lawyer for this one. Let me just get it over with. <laughs> I'll take my 10 days in jail because, yes, I hoard Ipsy bags, okay? All right, so December 2016. I call this one my fuzzy 90s look, and it's the Christmas bag. That's what I call it. I don't know the real name, but it's so fuzzy. It's definitely 90s in my opinion, or maybe 2000s, like Millennium. And I keep lipsticks in it. Like, all of the products in these bags, by the way, have never been used, never been opened. I have a Giorgio Armani. I have lip glosses. These are all like my reds uh, and nudes and pinks and like dark colors. Um, I have another bag that's like clear, but this is, this is the, yeah, my reds and stuff. My Christmas lipsticks, basically. And then we have, we'll repeat it, this is the March 2017 binky bag, lol. All right, we're through this box. I have four of these boxes. <sighs> so yeah. Ah, that's box number one. You ready for box number two? 
it is half of my Daisy gift set box. I, I, I love my Daisy gift set box. It's, it's on the bottom. It says Daisy on the bottom, but yeah, it's, it's down there. So let me try not to start on the wrong side this time. All right, number two. That was 2017. And this is January 2020 to November 2020. So we'll start on the January end. And I love this bag. I got a huge lot of Ipsy bags. So a lot of these are from that lot of Ipsy bags. But this is the January 2020 marble print Ipsy bag. Haven't put anything in it yet, but I absolutely love it. I think it's adorbs, adorable. And it's called the Clean Slate bag. Hashtag Ipsy Clean Slate, which is great because we all need one of those at some point in our lives. So that's a great, a great bag and a great theme, guys. That's why I am getting rid of stuff, getting rid of childhood memories, trying to start over, and I'm painting my room white. I'm halfway done. I well, <laughs> in my opinion, because I painted a corner, but that's far enough. I'm getting there. I've started. All right, so next up we have the April 2020 Ipsy bag, which is the hashtag Ipsy full bloom ipsy bag and i love this one i love this lilac i love the little ring kind of reminds me of one of those like ergonomic kids chewing rings although i wouldn't give my kids uh wood to chew on i do love the look of this it's very holistic and this one has um lip liners and like weird looking lipsticks and balms in it they're all reds and plums and they're all in there. So those are all available too, if anyone's interested. Although I'm going to be keeping my Sugar Cosmetics lip crayons. I love those. Those aren't going anywhere. Up next, I have the March 2020, and it's the 100th Ipsy bag that they made. And it's called the hashtag Ipsy Celebrate You bag. That's what it's called, Celebrate You. Although I covered up with a sticky note, but it says 100 Ipsy Glam Bag right there on the bottom. I love it. It's for St. Patrick's Day. You can tell that. Very pretty. Very cute. My mom's favorite color for sure. All right, up next, we have this cute duo, I want to say duo toned, duo chromed, whatever. It's an ombre gradient pink and yellow bag by from May 2020. And it's called the Get That Glow, Ipsy hashtag Get That Glow bag. And what's in this is basically, I tried to match the aesthetic of the bag. I put these Color Whisper lipsticks in it, a pink one, all kinds of pinks and clear lip glosses and things inside the bag um, to really match the aesthetic of it. And I love this packaging for one of the lipsticks that I put in it. And it's clear. It's a white lipstick, clear lipstick. Um, there's a lip mask gel in here by Seraphine Botanicals, I believe. No, Kaleido Cosmetics, my bad. I actually cleared out my makeup trunk and put stuff from my makeup trunk in here. And I'm just trying to keep my makeup trunk, the zebra trunk that I've showed you guys. It's been a long time since I showed it to you. But it's, I'm trying to keep it just for makeup palettes and singles and eyeshadows and stuff like that and blushes and things. And so all of the lip products, which I'm obsessed with, I'm a lip hoarder, lip product hoarder. I really am. <laughs> I should be a powder hoarder because I only have one and I need like any, anything face, like face powder, like just face powder, not blush, just powder, regular old powder, but I have to hoard lipstick. Mm -hmm. All right. So up next we have, I don't know what I was going off about, but I was going off on a tangent and I apologize. I do that sometimes. I have a point and I don't usually get there because I'll forget, but I'm sorry about that. It, it happens. That's my brain. So this is the June 2020. I call it the mellow yellow sunbathing. Whatever. Ipsy bag. It's really called the make waves bag. Um, June 2020. Ipsy make waves. Hashtag Ipsy make waves bag. Very cute. I really wanted it and then it got it in my lot of makeup. And what I have in it or chapsticks, <laughs> lip balms, <laughs> my favorite thing in the whole world. If I had, if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only choose one thing, let me tell you, girl, it would be lip balm. It would always be lip balm. I don't give a crap about any other makeup product but lip balm. 
I will tell you that right now. And my go-to brand is Chapstick. Um, although there was another one that I absolutely loved and I used it up. And I'm really looking forward to using this Coral Sun um, Mineral Lip Balm with the turtle on it. I love this. And being the mermaid that I am, even though I don't look like one, it doesn't matter because I'm a mermaid anyway. I really just love turtles. Turtles are my thing. So, up next we have the escape bag. If you want to make your escape, you better do it with this bag only because it has a little airplane on it too. It's just like Malibu Barbie over here, ladies. This one does not have any makeup in it. It's kind of clear. It's very 90s. It's very Barbie. I love this because it's Barbie. I was going through a box yesterday uh, from my fourth birthday party or my fifth birthday party. One of the two, but it was Barbie themed. And I have like the original Chucky e. T stuff and I had original McDonald's stuff that was super vintage. And all of these Barbie vintage birthday bags. I actually found a necklace that was Barbie. Like it, it was a heart, it was a plastic heart and Barbie candy in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was so much Barbie stuff. It was unreal. So this is called the hashtag Ipsy take a break bag, but it's the July, 2020 I call it the escape bag, July 2020 escape Ipsy bag, but it's called the take a break. So here's the postcard and it's covered up with a sticky note, but you know what it is. It doesn't really matter. You know what the bag looks like. That matters more than the postcard. So one of my absolute favorites, and it's why I bought that particular lot because of this bag and the bag that's right after this bag. This is... I think it's August. Yeah, August 2020. And I don't know what it's called, but it's the holographic Ipsy bag in August 2020. And look at that. I think that's just what we needed in the year 2020 was something as sparkly and glamorous as this. Definitely a millennium vibe. And as a millennial, we're one of the most marginalized group of people ever blamed for everything as much as the boomers and those classes of people. But I love this millennial Look, I might as well just embrace it so you can make fun of me. I hate that. Like, why do we make fun of people based on their age? Why do we always have to find something to make fun of people for? Why can't we just let people be who they are and let them enjoy it? I mean, this is really cool. If it looks millennial, awesome. Millennials came up with some awesome crap, man. All right, that's going to fall on the floor if I lose balance. So this is why I bought the lot. The deciding factor of why I bought that lot of Ipsy bags was this right here. I had to do it. I had to. And I didn't even notice until I got it that the little symbols on it are makeup products. An eye, I mean, an eye, a lipstick, a powder, a mascara, a moon, ipsy, a heart, a makeup brush. If, wow, like you worship makeup or something, jeez. And it says your magic. So it's the your magic bag, but it's called, okay, it's October 2020. I put in quotations, your magic. Here's the postcard. You can see it. Clear as day. No sticky note on it. Um, but it is called hashtag Ipsy Magic. So your magic, October 2020. And yes. Yas. All right. So inside this bag are my, I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to grab them all, but I like have more the rest of my lipsticks. So like there's purples, there's these bright reds. There's a mushroom lipstick that, yeah, you know what the shape of that is, but I'm not opening it. It starts with a P and ends with an S. So there's a lipstick. This is a dark plum, and I love that packaging. And here's another one, and it's like a golden red. Golden red. Is that even a color, Sarah? Come on now. And then I have this pink color whisper, and I have that NYX purple. It really sucks. Um, and then I have this gorgeous um, CoverGirl purple that I have never opened. And a lot of these I've never used or used like, no, I don't use something once. Only that purple one, that NYX one, I used that once or twice. And um, I think I might use that in my next video actually just because of the Halloween look that I have on. I'm going to go ahead and make like five videos for the next, why not? And I have one more bag. No, I have two more boxes. Holy crap. Or two more boxes of bags. I keep thinking I only have one. Wrong. Oh. So next bag is the November 2020 Ipsy bag. And this is the here's what it looks like. I'll take the sticky note out. Hashtag 
Ipsy Be Present. So this is the Be Present bag. And I love, actually, I don't love the colors. I hate navy. I hate dark brown. I hate beige. They're all the colors I hate mixed together in one combined bag. But I put all of my foundations, skin products, blemish concealers, stuff like that in it because I thought it would really match the bag. It really just it goes together really, really well with this kind of bag. It looks like skin tones. Like here's a darker skin tone and here's a lighter skin tone, which is more of my color. And so I just thought it was appropriate. All right, let's put those back in there. All right, so there's my second box. I'm going to pause this really quickly and get to my third box. Okay, we're recording. Third box. Here we go. Are you guys ready? I cannot believe I have this many Ipsy bags, and I haven't even been, like, getting Ipsy that much. I don't know what you guys do with them. Like, do you resell them on Poshmark? Do you sell them on eBay? There's too many Ipsy bags. There's got to be a solution to this. Hurry. Next bag. This is the first one that I put together. I was, I, I love this bag. It was like when I decided I'm not going to do SDB. I mean, I'm not going to actively try to sell you makeup anymore, but you can still buy it from me if you're interested in anything. But this was the bag that I decided to do. And it's all mascaras. All of it is in here. It's mascaras. So I'm going to just pull out these five. The blue ones I will sell. The SJ Lauder, I will, no, the Clinique I will sell. This one is a mermaid mascara, and I'm so excited about trying it. It's the next one that I'm gonna try. It's by Essence, and it's the Lash Princess. It is Ariel Mascara, Little Mermaid. Ah, oh, she was my favorite, and I, like I said, I've been going through downsizing, and I found a whole bunch of children's books from my childhood, and my obsession with mermaids started very young. I love The Little Mermaid, and I always will. So that bag is the January 2021, January 2021, and I call it the dream Ipsy bag because, I mean, it's clear, it's a very 90s looking bag. Again, another 90s bag. To me, 90s. I'm a 90s girl, so that must be what it is. And it's got dream all over it, written with little tiny stars. It's all mascara. All right, so next we have Sealed with a Kiss. And this is 2021 as well. We open up the back of it and it's more like a pouch. And this is the February 2021 Ipsy bag. I call it the Sealed with a Kiss bag. But I don't really know what it's called, so we'll just call it the Sealed with a Kiss bag. If you wanted to give a little love note to your lover boy, if you wanted to put some sexy stuff in here, you could. This would be a very appropriate bag for that, for date night or whatever. All right, up next, I have two of these because I started getting them for both myself and my mom. I stopped the Ipsy subscription, and uh, anyway. So May 2021 is what these are, and I'm going to call it the, I call it the light pink, light pink peonies, but they're called Flower Power. I have a postcard for one of them. One of them, it says We Heart Mom. So this was a Mother's Day bag. Yeah, it's called, you can go hashtag Ipsy Flower Power. And here's the postcard for this adorable pink bag. I absolutely love it. It's definitely, it's definitely a Mother's Day themed bag. Um, looks like one, very pretty. It kind of matches that bag that I used as my binky bag, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. So up next we had these, which I thought were very girly and definitely a Barbie kind of look for me, I, in my opinion. Um, like a 10 year old girl, 12 year old girl maybe. She's just hit puberty. I hate that word, don't you? I just, ugh, yuck. But anyway, I just think of like Barbies and cutesy and dolls and stuff. But my mom and I got one, both of us got one. So it's called, it's June, 2021. It's called hashtag, hashtag Ipsy do you. So on the back it says you can get a free palette, and there's the front of it. It says do you, but it's covered up by the sticky note, so just ignore it. Just ignore the postcard, but it's the Ipsy do you bag. Do you, girl. And then, after that time, I went and I splurged. 
and my husband treated me, my boyfriend treated me, whatever he is, kisses to him. Bought all four of these guys. And these are the Ipsy Holographic bags. All right, I'm going to get into them and what they are. So I have all four of them. I did not need to buy them, but I did because they're holographic and I had to have it. Did not need them. Got way more makeup than we could afford and way more makeup than we needed. And it was like around this point that I was like, why am I doing this? There's no point. <laughs> Don't have that many subscribers. Okay, so these are the June 2021. This one is the June 2021. 2021. Blue Holographic Limited Edition Shiny Adventures Mystery Bag. Shiny Adventures. That's what this one is. So the pink one, which has the pink lid instead of the pink bottom so these guys are kind of like opposites and opposites attract you guys so this one's the pink one and it is the june 2021 pink holographic limited edition summer refresh mystery bag so it's summer refresh and on the back this one has pink this one does not which is odd to me like oh, i dropped it on the floor pardon me i'm gonna get that yes i'm gonna get it all right so that's those two and then I had two more and this one's slightly bigger than this one as you can see comparatively but they are still opposites because this one was a regular and this one was like an ipsy plus so I paid 30 bucks for this one because it had like full-size makeup products in it so let's go for the gold one first let's go for the gold this one is the June 2021 gold holographic limited edition summer vibes mystery bag so this is summer vibes and it's got gold on both sides. And then, last but not least, we have this one, which is extremely holographic, like that bag from August 2020. And it's slightly bigger than all my other Ipsy bags. It's June 2021, silver holographic, limited edition, so bold, so hot, mystery bag. So this is so bold, so hot. All right. Up next, we have pretty much the remainder of my Ipsy bags, for the most part. I uh, I did get the October 2021 Ipsy bag, and after that, I'm going to unsubscribe again. Because I just was like, ah, the bag's so cute, it's got Dracula fangs on it. But these are my last four Ipsy bags, for now. Alright, so, I got July 2021 Stay Golden. So this is the July 2021 Stay Golden Ipsy bag. And it has a little sun charm on it. And there's the postcard for it. Stay golden. I think of you're so golden. La da 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 da. Know that you're scared because hearts get broken. You know, that song by what's his name? Harry Styles. So the hashtag is Ipsy Stay Golden July 2021. I'm gonna put this away. And then I got. The July 2021 limited edition Beach Goddess Mystery Bag. And I thought it was so cute. I love it. It matches the Stay Golden bag very well. So they go together like peas and carrots, in my opinion. And this one looks like a pie, like an apple pie, the top of it, you know? Oh, it's like woven like a basket. <laughs> All right. So, and then last but not least, we got these for, I think, August of 2021, and it's like a peridot look on the inside. I think that's the name of it. No, I wanted to call it peridot, but that's not it. So that's, this is the last bag that I got, and mom got one, and I got one. So they look really, they really match really well. They look like a little letter, a little love note. Um, they could go in your purse really well together, but they're like a crocodile print or a snake print. If you look really closely, you can see it but it's kind of hard to see and it opens up like an envelope, like I said, but these are called the, that's August, 2021 hashtag Ipsy Wanderlust. And that's the postcard for it, which is really super pretty. I love that. It's your turn to win. That's what it says on there. Oh, it's got a postcard in there. So I'll put it in the other one. So yeah. And then I was like, this is boring. It's not my style. I mean, they're very classy, but I don't need all these Ipsy bags. Um, as you can see, that's a lot. That's a lot of Ipsy bags. And then I have box four. I mean, we're 30 minutes in and we're in box four. We're no longer at Ipsy bags. We are now going on to my, my two, only have two birch box bags. Oh my goodness. 
So I have to pause this and I think I'll have to make a part two. So I'm going to see you guys in a minute. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more. But this is going to be a part two for box four, okay? I'll check it out. I'll see you in a second. Bye.